the strength of photography lies in its ability to evoke a sense of humanity. What you see is unmitigated pain, injustice, and misery. If everyone could be there to see for themselves the fear and the grief just one time, then they would understand. This idea haunts me. It's something I have to reckon with every day, because I know that if I ever allow genuine compassion to be overtaken by personal ambition, I will have sold my soul. The only way I can justify my role is to have respect for the other person's predicament. The extent to which I do that is the extent to which I become accepted by the other. And to that extent, I can accept myself. The normal codes of civilized behavior are suspended. So-called normal life photographing, it's simply impossible. They understand that a stranger who's come to show the rest of the world what is happening to them gives them a voice in the outside world that they otherwise wouldn't have. They realize that they are the victims of some kind of injustice, of some kind of unnecessary violence. And by allowing me there to photograph it, they're making their own appeal to the outside world and to everyone's sense of right and wrong. I try my best to approach people with respect. I want them to see that I have respect for them and the situation they're in. I don't like to move too fast. I don't like to speak too loudly. I want to be very open in my approach. I want to feel open in my own heart towards them, and I want them to be aware of that. And people do sense it. They, with very few words, sometimes with no words at all, to find out what was behind that passion, what could create that level of emotion among so many people. And I realized it had to come from a glimmer of hope for some kind of social and economic equality that had been denied to so many people for so long. It's not so much that I want my pictures to be looked upon as art objects as it is a form of communication. Whatever I did that accomplished something, I'm glad for it. But it's, you know, there's always so much more to do. I, I, I've never felt complete. I've never felt satisfied. I wouldn't say I could use the word happy about it because it's always involved other people's tragedies and other people's misfortunes. At best, there's a kind of grim satisfaction that perhaps I brought some attention, focused people's attention on 
these problems. Perhaps it brought some relief, but it's, it's shifting sand that keeps moving. It's, it's more difficult to get publications to focus on issues that are more critical, that do not provide people with an escape from reality, but attempt to get them deeper into reality, to be concerned about something much greater than themselves. And I think people are concerned. We must look at it. We're required to look at it. We're required to do what we can about it. If we don't, who will?